my home situation was nowhere that a child should be. I ended up moving to a few different places. I went from my uncles to my aunts to my brothers to my sister's house to my grandmother's house and then back to my parents. When I was 12 years old I started doing cocaine and pills and drinking really heavy and I ran away and from then on I just kind of I was on the streets most of the time. My grandmother raised me until I was seven. After she passed away, I kind of grew up and lived on my own. It just didn't work out for me and who I was. I was failing classes, I wasn't doing good. Yeah, I created my family out of my friends because my friends have been there for me more than my parents have, more than my relatives have. The Vermont Coalition of Runaway and Homeless Youth Programs is a statewide coalition of service providers whose primary mission is to make sure that we in the state of Vermont can supply a safety net for young people who are experiencing homelessness or, or family conflict that might lead them to run away from home. I'm working with people who have had nothing, you know, generally, have had no supports been told that they're no good their whole lives. I'm really more of a life coach and that's what this that's what the how the program is designed. In that includes housing goals, employment goals, education goals. We talk about um, support network who's who who is it that they can count on, who they can um, confide in. I got involved with the transitional living program when I got out of jail actually when I was 17 with Nora I work and she's she's been there through everything. She kind of keeps me in line with my budgeting and she helped me get my own apartment. We've been meeting every week. A lot of it is about the relationships that are built. Um, oftentimes the youth will come back you know years later and 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 seek out the counselor or the case manager that they were working with and talk of, of, of those people as, as real friends, mentors, and, and uh, you know, almost surrogate family members. Nora helped me find a good home through HomeShare Vermont. I talk to Nora every week about what goes on here, what goes on at school, my grades, and just life in general. She's kind of like a counselor, but better than that. It's just there when I need someone to talk to. Um, half of life is knowing what you want and I think that that's a big part of, of certainly a big part of the work is what is it that you want? Why do you want that? What are you willing to do to achieve that? One of the major goals that we have for all youth who work in the Transitional Living Program is to make sure that they can articulate and achieve their own individual education and employment goals. I have to graduate, I have to bring my, keep my grades up, and I found out recently that I made honor roll, which was awesome for me because I've never made honor roll before. I am joining reality more than what I already am. It means that I'm growing up and, and going into the big world. You know, when you, hear, when you hear stories like Mindy and Rosie's where they're, you know, graduating from high school, looking at pursuing further education, that's the kind of story that you want to hear. Those are the outcomes that we want for every young person coming into services. I completely changed everything about myself. I changed my attitude. I changed my way of thinking. I got into meditation. I completely stopped doing drugs. I've been clean for three years. Because of the Transitional Living Program, I now know how to take care of myself in a responsible way. I realize like I'm so much more at ease and that I'm at peace and it's just it wows me, you know. I used to draw a lot of negative paintings, they're dark and just really ugly looking. But now it's just like all happy and gets my mood out and people like the mood. You know, you see where they've come from and you see, you see what's happened to them in, in their life. And they have perseverance and they have determination. You know, this life coach approach 
is a, is made a big difference and this is really what I think needs to be happening for these young people right now. Runaway and homeless youth are not always the uh, the first population that a lot of policymakers think of. Um, having an agency, an entity like VCRIP, uh, who can dedicate the time and resources in an under-resourced field, I think that helps us to create better services which ultimately will serve more kids.